Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I did. Uh, it was my birthday and had a good time Saturday night. Paid for it a little bit on Sunday, but hey, uh, it's part of the deal. But uh, hope everybody had a great weekend and ready to go after it. Um, so just a quick tip here. Uh, if you're currently renting and you're looking to purchase, obviously it's very difficult to find houses right now. But what you can control is how you prepare yourself for it. Okay. When you're renting, a lot of people just say, well, I'm paying this in rent and I could be buying over here at the same payment and so forth. You can't look at it that way. You have to be very careful with that. Look about the whole picture. Look at the whole picture because what could happen is, and it does happen, life happens, right? Uh, you can have problems with the house. You can have problems with the hot water heater down the line. Whatever it may be, uh, there's some more bill. There's going to be a lot more bills that, that's going to come out of your own pocket instead of your landlord's. Uh, so you really have to prepare, really put money away, uh, save, keep your debt load very, very low, you know, try to keep three to six months um, emergency fund if you can, because if something happens to the house or something, you know, basically d just goes wrong with it, um, you know, two years from now, as an example, do you have enough money put aside to take, you know, take that blow? If you don't, then that can put you in jeopardy of, of trying to make your mortgage payments and so forth. Uh, so don't look at it as apples to apples, it's apples to oranges. And, and, you know, it's a big commitment. When you purchase a house, a big commitment that, that you're signing on a dotted line, now you're going to be on the hook for that. Uh, and things could happen and so forth. So my best advice is always to prepare for that. Uh, put, you know, put some money aside, uh, emergency fund, make sure you have very low debt. Make sure you have your assets in the bank for more than 60 days for your down payment and so forth. There's a lot of preparation that could be done now as you're trying to look for homes or trying to get pre-approved, okay? And that's the other thing too. Make sure you get pre-approved the right way, whether it's us or somebody else. Make sure they look at everything. Make sure they try to vet everything, all those questions. Uh, because what can happen in this marketplace uh, you go into contract and all of a sudden, I mean, we just had two of them last week. We actually had to turn one around and close it, get a career to close in seven days. But basically by, by going into the marketplace and not being pre-approved the right way, uh, then things can blow up and then somebody can come in right behind you and take that house once you're out of contract because there's people dying to buy a house. So just be prepared. It's not apples to apples when you're renting the purchase. There's a lot more bigger responsibility when you purchase. And not a lot of people tell you that. They say, well, they're just paying that in rent, so they should be paying that in a mortgage payment. Well, what happens if something happens to the house? Uh, something to the roof? How water heater goes? All that stuff, you got to be really prepared for. So I, I would highly recommend uh, saving three to six months emergency fund uh, and put that aside. And I know that's a lot easier said than done, but, but I mean, I'm just telling you from experience, uh, you know, but, you know, last crash that, that we lived through about 10 years ago, we really got our heads taken off. Um, but we had some money put aside, so we, we kind of fought through it, but it was brutal. So anyway, uh, I'm not trying to scare you, just trying to prepare you for the future. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, shoot me a private message, or uh, text me at 423-262-9229. Okay, have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon.